Hello everyone, this is Chopping Up Hoops with your pal Sound. Let's get right to it. Last night was a matchup with between the Dallas Mavericks and the Brooklyn Nets. It was a close game right to the end. But Luka Doncic came out on top. 41 points, 14 rebounds, and 11 assists. Luka Doncic continues to dominate the game, looking to be this year's MVP, along with the others being set for MVP, which are Ja Morant, Giannis Antetokounmpo, Jeff Curry, and, and KD. So let's talk a little bit about that game. Four of the players on the Dallas Mavericks rosters also had double figures, which helped them. Dallas went 20 for 40 from three-point land, which is never a good sign if you're playing against them because they do like to stretch the floor a lot with their bigs who can really shoot the ball. Um, Kyrie and KD, they're still a good duo together. They're like Batman and Batman. They're not. There's no Batman and Robin with them. It's Batman and Batman. Um, Kyrie had 39 and Kevin Durant had 37. Ben Simmons still does not produce. I talked about this yesterday. He had seven points, and he was on the floor for over 30 minutes. That is not a good usage rate for a player. Brooklyn Nets, but the Ben Simmons woes continue to hurt the Brooklyn Nets on the wing column. Last night, you also had, in the late game, you had Golden State and Miami. Golden State ended up pulling it out 123-110, to and Miami... Jimmy Buckets did his thing, had 27, and Bam Adebayo had 26. Golden State Warriors, Steph Curry had 33, but they also had five other players in double figures, so they were really sharing the ball well. They didn't shoot as well as they wanted to from three-point land, but they still got the W. There's a couple games going on tonight that I really, really like. Cleveland and Boston are both 3-1. and one. They're going to be playing each other. Then in the late game, we're going to see if the LA Lakers can get out of their losing slump. Right now, they're 0-4 against the Minnesota Timberwolves, who are 3-2. and two. Utah is really surprising me with their roster they're running to. You have Jordan Clarkson, who is in the starting lineup now. He is no longer coming off the bench and being a scoring power, and he's doing a great job facilitating and balancing his scoring as in the starting lineup. You got Lauren Markin and Kelly Olynyk, And also you got THT, Talon Horton Tucker, who's really flourishing after, you know, he left the Lakers. So they've got some free agent acquisitions that are really doing well. You got Beasley who can shoot the three-pointer really, really well right now, and he does stretch the floor. Utah Jazz, even with all the trades they made, they made some really good pickups. And once again, what they are at top. So Denver Nuggets, three and two. Will Pauly Jokic finally get enough assists to where he'll have be averaging a triple double up to this point in the season? Or will the Utah Jazz point it out? Jamal Murray. They do have some new players on the court. Michael Porter Jr. is healthy. He looked good the other night. And Aaron Gordon has been solid on their team. Aaron Gordon, anywhere close to the basket, he's going to dunk it on you. So he's a high percentage shooter, and they're able to stretch the floor. As you can see, I got my Orlando Magic hat on. They are still undefeated in losses right now. They do, in fact, play Charlotte tonight, who are 2-2. Two and two. Hopefully they can get... A, they can get a a number on that wing column. But you know me, I'm very biased when it comes to Orlando Magic because I've been a fan ever since day one. Miami plays Sacramento, Golden State plays Charlotte, Indiana plays Brooklyn. Not, not much to think about when it comes to this weekend as far as the games going on on Saturday. So listen, this is Chop It Up Hoops with your pal Sal. If you like what you've been hearing, like, subscribe, comment, God bless, and be kind.